there's a planet in the habitable zone of its star, meaning it's in the right location to potentially support life. Its size and mass are almost the same as Earth, and even the materials on its surface are similar to what Earth is made of. This is why the planet is called Earth's twin sister. Now, you might think that we should consider moving there, right? But here's the catch. This planet is actually Venus, the second planet in our solar system, and it's a place no human could ever survive. But why? How can a planet so similar to Earth be so deadly? In today's video, we're diving into the reasons why Venus is more like a living hell than a second home for us. Let's start by comparing Venus and Earth side by side. Both planets have an active core surrounded by a thick crust. Venus has an iron nickel core just like Earth and other rocky planets like Mars and Mercury. In fact, when you compare the size, gravity, and density of Venus to Earth, they're almost identical. So, what went wrong? To find out, we need to go back about 3 billion years. At that time, Earth was incredibly hot, with oceans covering most of the planet and temperatures around 85 degrees Celsius. The air was filled with gases like methane, ammonia, and water vapor, definitely not the kind of air we could breathe. Meanwhile, Mars was cold and icy, but Venus? It was probably the best place to live in our solar system back then. In 2016, researchers from NASA ran climate models that gave us a glimpse of what Venus was like 3 billion years ago. These models, which used data to predict conditions on other planets, showed that Venus had a stable climate, with a global temperature of about 11 degrees Celsius. That's cooler than Earth today. Scientists even believe that Venus had oceans, making it a possible early home for life, long before Earth was ready for life. But then, around 715 million years ago, everything changed. Venus experienced massive volcanic eruptions that released a huge amount of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. The heat from the sun got trapped by this thick CO2 layer, turning Venus into a greenhouse oven. Unlike Earth, where carbon dioxide makes up only a small part of the atmosphere, Venus' atmosphere is 95% carbon dioxide. This trapped heat raised the temperature to around 475 degrees Celsius, and the pressure became 90 times greater than Earth's. So, despite being Earth's twin in many ways, Venus became uninhabitable due to these extreme conditions. Some scientists even think that Venus' slow rotation, taking about 243 Earth days to spin once, played a role in its downfall. If Venus had rotated faster, the climate might have stayed more stable, and life could have possibly developed. It's wild to think that, with just a few differences, Venus might have been a second Earth. So, what do you think? Are we really the only life in the universe? Or could there be other planets out there, hiding alien life? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell, so you never miss out on more fascinating space facts. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.